Questions and comments, can you come on here? The Honourable Deputy House Leader. Well, Mr. Speaker, I am certainly going to miss that over-the-top rhetoric uh, when this member is gone, as he's announced he won't be running again. Uh, I certainly will miss it. But I will say, you know, he seemed to bring up a lot of issues uh, that don't jive with what was being said previously, because a member from Calgary Federation yesterday said, and I quote, the issue that my Conservative colleagues and I have is the date that, the, that would change to create pensions for losing Liberal and NDP members. If that date changed, I would be in full support of this bill. So the only issue to Conservatives, according to the member from Calgary Fed Confederation, is the date. The, the Minister made it very clear yesterday when he was speaking. He was trying to attempt to change the date because there's also municipal elections going on in Alberta on the same day, and people will effectively have to go and vote at two polling locations on the same day. But the minister also said, if the committee decides they want to put the date back to where it was, he's willing to accept that. So my question is, given that this is the only thing that seems to be problematic with Conservatives, as stated by the member from Calgary Confederation, why doesn't the member just let it go to committee and change the date? Or better yet, during his 20 minutes of speaking, why didn't he just in introduce an amendment to change the date? He could do either of those, and he's not. Why? The Honourable Member for Abbotsford. Well, Mr. Speaker, there's a lot in that question, but I was pleased to hear him mention Alberta. <laughs> because this Liberal Party and this Liberal government and former Liberal governments have never cared for Alberta. Right Remember on. the National Energy Plan? Now, Mr. Speaker, the reason I focused... Honourable. Uh, honour. <laughs> order. Order. Let me find the right word. Let me just find the right word in my brain for a minute. Uh, uh, Lord, the Honourable Member for Abbotsford has the floor. Thank you. I noticed I touched a nerve, Mr. Speaker. Exactly. These folks over here, they don't care for Alberta. They don't care for Western Canada. But, Mr. Speaker, my speech focused in on the totality of this legislation. Right. The reason my colleagues focused on the cynical ploy that is the election date is because Canadians, by and large, are not aware of this. They're not aware that this Prime Minister is monkeying around with the election date simply to protect right. the Matt pensions Absolutely. of his own well-paid MPs. Shame on them. The ones that are going to lose. 